book. Hey there, Michelle Crafty Surveying. So we're going to decorate up this pumpkin tonight. And I think it's going to look a little bit farmhouse, a little bit rustic, maybe even a little shabby chic. Um, and it's just really, really easy. Um, but we're going to make it sort of pretty. So come on, say hi. Let me know you're out there watching live or replay. If you like what I do, please pass me on. Check me out on Pinterest and do my saves on those posts over there. Um, I have a lot of idea pins there. Go check out things that I do and, and just that's awesome if you can help out in any way passing it on. Hello artist. I'm going to go ahead and get started right away so that I'm not on here for a long time. Hello, hello Jody. Alright, I'm just going to, I've got a couple things because we're going to paint and we're going to add a little bit, a couple layers. So, you get, I got this one at Walmart. You can get the pumpkins anywhere. Now this color is a little bit what I'm going for, but um, I just, you know, I'm going to look at this a little bit and see if I can get a little more light maybe it's there that's a little bit more there we go that's a little better so um you can get these pumpkins anywhere this is sort of the color that i'm going for but we're going to add some paint on here and then a little bit more you did catch me live debbie so the paint i'm using oops, I have to put this on. hope you can hear me okay i think i have it on it should i think it should should be working I have been doing fall pumpkin Shannon, Shanna, I have been doing them. So if you happen again, check out my page, you know, check it out. All right, we're going to, this just comes out. I had twisted a little before I came on. It's glued in, but we're going to take the stem out because we're not going to use the stem. All right, you can use the stem for something else, definitely. Oh, I don't have my bag here. So it's okay that you have a hole there, but we're going to go ahead and paint this. You're going to just see a little bit of difference. I don't want the shiny. Um, we're going to use plaster of Waverly chalk, do whatever color. This honestly would be really gorgeous orange. It'd be gorgeous the greens. Anything, honestly, oh, the green would be beautiful. I'm going to do this color though. The green would be gorgeous too. So we're going to do this one though. Hello, Kathy. I'm glad you came on. Hello, Mary. So if you like what I do, please pass me on, you know, let people know we're out there. All right. I'm just going to grab a brush and we're going to go ahead and get started. We're just going to paint this up, uh, the Waverly plaster color and oh man, I got a lot on here. So it's just going to brighten it up a little bit. Then we're going to tone it back down again. Um, we might do two coats. We'll see what it looks like when we're done with the one coat. And I might have to do it in steps to dry it. We'll just see. I want to make sure I get the bottom two. Yeah, we'll probably do it in steps because as I'm turning it, we'll need to go along. Hello, cat. So just make sure you don't have any big bumps. You know, honestly, it probably would just add some character to it. All right. So again, I'm just going to just do this in steps and dry it as we go around. Now this is styrofoam. So when this is the extra hot heat gun, so I don't want to be too close with it. I don't want to melt my pumpkin. That wouldn't be good. Then it wouldn't be as pretty. It wouldn't be as pretty. Cash just went to bed to go sleep. Yes, Mr. Pecky Servings went into bed, so Cash goes and lays down in there. He doesn't leave his side after he comes home. If he does, then he's clinging to me. So just try this off and this is the plaster color again of the Waverly chalk paint um, so it does get more of a um, matte finish you can use whatever kind of paint you want 
I just know I, I like the chalk paint how it adheres. Thank you, Becky, for passing me on. I appreciate that. I have done a lot of pumpkins this fall, haven't I? Quite a few of them. And each one, I think, a little bit different than the other. I know they're a little different than the other. I think my favorite was the scrap rag pumpkins. Let's see. That one, I did really love, though, the burlap one I did yesterday. Hello, Mary Lou. Just dry that up good because then I'm going to turn this and do the next part. I just want it all painted. Again, other colors would definitely work for this. The moss green that they have for Waverly. That honestly would be gorgeous. I guess I didn't even think of that, but I do like what I'm going to do with this. I, I like what it's going to look like. It's a be a, it'll be a little bit monochrome color, a little bit. So it doesn't matter if your styrofoam pumpkin has imperfections. It could be one that you had from other years. We're just covering it up with the paint. It could be any color. This is my prize day from my mystery hostess party. Love it. Awesome, Kelly. I'm glad. I'm trying to remember what prize you, you won. I had quite a few prizes at that for it. So I did send out like wood cutouts to some people too. So I don't know. Was yours a wood cutout? All right, we're going to go ahead and dry this one again. I did the pumpkin and like it. He did it. All right. Well, I'm glad you came on too, Meg. I had pumpkin explosion in my house. <laughs> That's funny, Glenda. Oh, Kelly, okay. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad. That was the little canvas that I did. Hello, Cheryl. All right, so again, I'm just drying this up. I don't want to be too close because, again, I don't want to melt my pumpkin. And this heat gun gets really, really hot. Got some real pumpkins. I'm going to be painting. Jackie, you could do this with a real pumpkin, too. You really could. It's going to be so pretty when it's done. It really will. Hello. So MNC Treasures, I know I received the message from you today. You have an event coming up. Um, can you refresh my memory, your name, please, please? And then you guys, I'll check out. Um, I know she had, they have the events. They had asked me to be in it. It's just really hard for me right now. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to make one in. Awesome, Kelly. I'm glad you like it. Aw, a Michelle made. <laughs> that sounds funny to me. I'm like, it's just me. It's just me. I am who I am. Just me. If people ever see me... <laughs> You'd probably be shocked. I am just a real, real <laughs> down to the person. As you can see, like when we make apple juice or things like that, I mean, it is what it is. We just, this is our life. It's, we have a dog who barks during our lives. You know, it, um, so Monday, I was doing a live Monday afternoon and the UPS man came and uh, the front door opened, doors open. Well, and while I was on the, it was a well, I was on the live and I was telling a story about how, um, I mean, there's, we have a, just a little cul-de-sac, you know, maybe like five houses back here. And, but every day UPS or FedEx is coming back or both every day to one of her houses. And, um, that day I'm like, I wasn't expecting anything. I, I didn't order again. I didn't think I had anything ordered. Well, sure enough, he stops in front of her door. Well, he cash. 
he buddies cash once in a while cash is outside and he's learned about cash and and he's like he's talking through my door while i'm on my live saying hey buddy cash and cash is barking through the door wanting to go out by him hey my buddy cash you know and i'm like okay i don't even know what i ordered and he's standing on my door talking to my dog it was my neighbor's package that he dropped at our house so that was sort of a funny ending of the story and it's like i don't even think i ordered anything which is unusual, but Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. Okay. I'm going to try and remember that I'm terrible, terrible with names and pages. All right. Honestly, I probably can get away with one quote on here. So this is going to be such a quick and easy, quick and easy live. I haven't been on at night for a long time, so I'm excited to try and make it a lot live. I've been doing costumes, so when I'm done with this, I'm going to go back to sewing. Let's do that. All right. I think we have one more turn here that we're going to do. I just don't want to bake too much of this middle out where I pulled the stem out of. So we'll look around it when we're done just to see if we have to add another coat. Because if I see too much of that white, I mean, or it's like yellowish through it, I probably will, but I think I'm going to be good. I think we're good. Thank you, Kelly. And I don't want to melt my pumpkin, so I have to make sure my heater, my air dryer is way up here. I like the color white on it, but what's the but for, Kathy? Honestly? Like I said, now I'm really torn because I almost feel like if I would have done it in that mossy green that they have, it would have been just as gorgeous. Um, but this is going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty, but it's it would be gorgeous in that mossy green that Waverly has. Hello, Anna. Winding down on the East Coast. Yeah, it's later by you too, right? Yeah, you're an hour behind me. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock by you. Yeah, I just want to make sure this is good and dry for the next step then. Oh, okay, no but, Kathy. All right, I'll just say, okay, but. You can always tell me if there's got to be a but. Yeah, there's just a, there's a bigger spot down here that I should have made sure. Okay, I am going to, let me just look at this. This is going to be just fine. It's really hot though, so I have to be careful again. So I'm not going to, um, no, I just see some thicker up here. I got it all over me. Yeah, it's pretty. And like I said, it was already an okay color, um, but it was a little yellower and it looked fake. So this still looked fake, but it'll be pretty. We're gonna we're gonna grunge it up. Okay, we're gonna grunge it up, but then we're gonna make it pretty. I'm excited to show you. It's it's gonna be cute, so please stick on. Pass me on. Let people know I'm out there. Like paint everywhere. 
Janice, hello, I miss seeing you. Nancy, get on your pumpkins. I've done a lot, and I know other crafters have too. It's got to be really good and dry for this next step. A hint is, I'm going to make it smell amazing. So y'all know, I did that on something the other day too. Oh, I did that on the apple pies, which actually are coming down. I got to fix them. I got to fix them. They're starting to come down. But we're going to make this one smell amazing also. And then we're going to decorate it. And it's not going to be much in decorating. It's easy, 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 easy. Okay, it's still wet. Mm -hmm. Let me just zoom in. But some cinnamon. Coffee grunge. Exactly. Yes, that grunge sauce. And it's so slimy. <laughs> it's so slimy. <laughs> But it's really pretty. And then uh, there's another thing I'm going to grunge up. I'll show you in just a few minutes. After I grunge this, we're going to grunge that a little bit on the edges. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I think the bottom is dry. I just have this wet spot up here that I added extra on. Um, Janice, I didn't do anything to it. I get my hair done tomorrow. <laughs> it's flat. It's flat. I brushed it. I brushed it after a long, long day. So, thank you, though. Okay, it's just it's still just sticky up here. I don't want the paint moving around when I'm putting the grunge on. You gotta put the grunge on. Ooh, Shannon, the grunge is so yummy. Yummy. The grunge, and I'll tell you, the grunge recipe that I use, I know has been on the internet a lot. It's been on Pinterest. It's been all over. The person that I saw make it and that posted on her page is Tracy from My Sweet Home. Uh, My Sweet Home. I think My Sweet Home. Um, so I give her the credit because that's the first person I saw with it, but I know a lot of people have used it. But um, I'll give you her recipe when I'm doing it. It smells simply amazing. I did work today, Kathy, and I'm still up and smiling. I had all last week off, so it was my first day back. It was hard to go back. All right. Still wet there. It was very hard to go back. You never heard of the grunge? You're going to see the grunge. You're gonna, it, I wish you could smell the grunge. You have to make it. All right? You have to make it. Okay, I think we're not. Probably almost pretty dry here. <laughs> Some of this off. I hope you can make it up, Janice. I know it's late for you and you need to, need to go to bed and you get tired. I don't blame you. You go through a lot. Hello, Sherry. Tracy is amazing. Tracy is amazing. I love that girl. All right. So let me just, okay, I think we're done. Let's do the grunge next. And we're going to grunge two different things. sure my heat gun isn't going to melt my cord over here because then we're going to be in trouble. Grunge. Coffee grunge. You keep it in the refrigerator. So the recipe for this grunge is one cup of hot water, half a cup of instant coffee grounds, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Does that not sound amazing? Oh, awesome, Cindy. Thank you. 
I'm so I am so happy with how that other banner turned out yesterday that fall one that I put on a board I love how that turned out too and they're all gone now I will cut some more but they're all gone they got all ordered out so that makes me happy too wonder if you use a hair dryer on a cool setting it would absolutely work too Debbie you can use it on a warm setting you don't uh, hair dryer doesn't get well it can get as hot I suppose but all right you have to shake this up when you haven't used it for a while because all that cinnamon um, and that and like thickens up on the bottom but and it's actually pretty slimy it's pretty slimy um, I don't know if it's supposed to be this slimy but it is and it smells so good so good I'm just gonna use one of these brushes and we're gonna brush it on and you're gonna see the slime I think I need some more paper towel Late to the party we are making a pretty pumpkin a pretty um, pretty sort of I think it's sort of farmhouse sort of rustic and sort of shabby chic maybe I don't always know what shabby chic is, but I think if it's going to be shabby chic, just give me a little of it. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to just put this under it because I know I'm going to slobber some of that slime from this coffee grunge. All right. See how nice and pretty and white this is? If you want to leave it pretty and white like this, you certainly can do it. Or like I mentioned, Waverly has a beautiful moss green and they also have a really pretty orange um that if you want to do the same thing but not grunge it up or you grunge it up with those other colors you could do the same exact thing with whatever color you want i just use plaster um, because it's going to be pretty like this too all right i'm going to dip this in the grunge and look at it. it's grunge but it smells simply amazing we're going to brush this on Brush it on. Like I said, it smells simply amazing. We're going to do this in steps again also so I can turn it. So we're going to dry it in between. Isn't that, that's so cool. I wish you could smell it. Oh, stacked pumpkins would be so pretty. And honestly, with what I'm doing with them, you could put in between the layers and, um, oh, that would be gorgeous too. Wait till you see what we're, what we're using with this. I'm just gonna dry up this grunge a little bit. if you have animals well cash doesn't cash is really pretty good about not going for stuff that smells I mean even you drop stuff on the floor um well, food I guess maybe you would chase for it but if you drop something most dogs we've ever had they would automatically run to try and get whatever you drop he doesn't so he's not always good but in that way he is good oh Kelly you need to make this Look how pretty it is when it's drying, too. Okay, again, if you need the recipe, I'm not sure um, if somebody questioned that. If you need the recipe uh, for this grunge, it's one cup of hot water, a half a cup of instant coffee grounds, um, two tablespoons of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of cinnamon. If you like it a little bit different color, you could also add, so like say you put a little bit in a bowl, um, you could add a, just a little bit of paint to it to make a different color, like add a little orange to it or look a little more rustier. Um, you, you just really could add different colors to it to make or add it to white paint a little bit of it just to before you even paint it on you can add some of it to it uh, you can do a lot with the grunge I, I've seen Tracy do a lot with the grunge we call it the grunge All right, let's just do this again well and if you want it darker you can go back and do it do it over again 
button. Isn't that just cute? So it simply smells so good. I just want to use it all the time so I can smell it. Paprika, absolutely you could. Like I said, you could add any, you could add this to things like your, like I said, your paint um, to change the color up a little bit and actually we change a little bit of the texture up on it a little bit. Good. Oh, pumpkin spice. And honestly, just the cinnamon in this, it, it, oh, and coffee and vanilla. I, and you can't go wrong. It just, it's all added together. It's wonderful. It is a big pumpkin. I got this pumpkin at Walmart. You can get pumpkins anywhere, though. You probably have a bunch at home. I had another orange one from Walmart that was actually sort of cute um, for a styrofoam pumpkin that I could have painted too, but this one will really work. Like I said, it'll work with what I'm doing. So I'm anxious to show you what else we're putting on here. It's gonna be a little bit different. I can tell you that it's gonna be different. So stick on. Janice, are you awake yet? Stick on. You're gonna you're gonna like what I do. Did you, Kathy? Oh, awesome. So you mean I could put a little on that permanent doll up there? I need to do that though, because it's so pretty. Kathy had sent me a permitted doll that she made, and it's sitting up on my mantle up there next to the scarecrow. And it's just so cute. All right, let's let's lay this down now. I move this over here. This honestly is what's taking the longest is drying this in between. Oh, I know, Janice. Oh, prayers for your healing. I you know you've been through so much. Okay, I don't, my finger is starting to break that hole a little more on the top. I mean, we're not going to see that hole, but I don't want it to break too much. So I have to be careful with that hole where the stem came out of. I bet it's better than a tea stain, Kathy. Look, you can see the ground and the cinnamon. It's mostly probably the cinnamon that you see. You can see all that on here. Thank you, Cheryl. I said, just be really careful that you don't start melting your pumpkin. Because that wouldn't be a good thing. Because this is going to be pretty farmhouse -y. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Jennifer from She's Crafty. Please, please check out her page. She's amazing. Um, she is my sponsor for Magnolia. I learned so much from her. She has wonderful ideas. She has her own shop for cutting wood cutouts. I can cut out the wood too. She has really awesome ones. She always has great ideas. So check out She's Crafty. Mr. Crafty Serving is in bed, but he is doing good. He's doing good. We missed coming on a trip this year with you. It would have been fun. But next year, next year, we're going to get it. I'm going to work on that. All right. Almost done. I think we got one more, and then we're going to just make sure it's good and dry. Um, and actually, I'll set it aside because we're going to grunge up one more thing. 
Isn't it wonderful, Jennifer? It is so wonderful. Are you feeling better, Jennifer? Jennifer has been sick this week. Are you feeling better? I felt so bad for you when I saw you on yesterday. Oh, and you're such a trooper. Jennifer, go ahead and drop your link. Anybody else out there? I see M M N C Treasures um, already has it on her her name there. Anybody else out there? Um, crafters, go ahead, drop your link, please, so that you know. Hopefully, y'all follow and you know go check them out. Yeah, it's just it's always fun to check out different people. All right. All right, just drawing this up a little bit, and then I'm going to grunge up one more thing that I'm excited. I was going to be so pretty on here. And then we'll put it all together. We have um, a little more decorating to do with something a little different, a little twist that we're going to put on here. Yes, Kathy. Be warm with this heater though it's very warm here today it's very humid so that's unusual for Wisconsin hello Deborah all right I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit on its own I can always go back to it so isn't that just isn't that just cute all right that's the little grungy part we're gonna grunge up. Let me just set that pumpkin up there. Oh, it smells so good. All right, you wanna see the next that I'm grunging up? One of my mama's, one of my mama's doilies. I'm not gonna do the whole thing though. I'm going to do just the edges. As you can see, there's already a little bit of coloring on here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just because I think I stored them all in a paper bag and it sort of bled through. I mean, it's it, it didn't get wet, but I think the humidity that we get sometimes, it just gradually, so it already has that old, you can see a little of the variation of the colors. We're going to variation color around here with this grunge. And I'm just going to use one of these little sponge daubers. Let's see if I can't get some of this on here. We're going to see what it looks like. I just want to do these edges. Oh, that's going to be cute. All right, I need to put a little of this in a little dish or on a plate. smell vision is what we need. All right, I'm just going to put a little. We don't need much. <laughs> Look at that slime. All right. And we're going to dip. And I just want to do these edges. And I'll show you after I'm done with just this one. Look at how cute that's going to be. And can you imagine that on the pumpkin? So, okay, I'm just doing that edge. I don't want to do the whole thing. Although that would be cute too. But just look at how cute that is. My mom's crocheting, it just, it was beautiful. I wish she could still crochet. You know, I know she probably wishes she could, but she just, she doesn't know how anymore. It's hard. She just doesn't, she wouldn't be able to follow patterns or anything where she just, she did so much crocheting. Um, blankets for every one of us kids, our spouses, um, our um the our kids are our, our kids spouses um our um grandkids um some of them a couple had spouses um it just all the you know great grandkids she did blankets af afghans for all of them so there's a, still a few left here that i have that as people get married or have a baby that i can give out but then they'll be gone yeah, Kathy. Oh, thank you for passing me on, Susan. Again, just do these edges. It's just going to soak in. And it's going to, this will really hold the smell. It's really going to hold that smell good. I 
And if you're just coming on, this is the coffee grunge that smells simply amazing that I give complete credit to Tracy from my sweet home because that's who I always see using it even though I know there are people have the recipe and use it she was my first so check her out okay this is gorgeous 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 all right, I think that's everything grunge that I need. We're gonna get rid of that here. We're gonna put this down here. Look at this. Is that not pretty? We're gonna, I think we're gonna cover the grunge so I don't spill that. That would be terrible. Yeah, I have so many doilies too, Deborah. Isn't that special to have? I have a, actually a lot that my grandma did too. So um, my grandma did a lot of them also. And she did like all homemade ornaments. I've showed them before. Thank you, Glenn. All right. I'm just gonna dry up those edges a little bit. Okay, now we could, but we're not gonna just do this. As you can see, let's see, that's the bottom. I have a little drying to do yet here. I'm gonna dry it up. The, the doily's gonna go on it, but there's more. There's, there's one more, well, two more things that are just going to add to it that I'm excited to show you. So stick on. Hello, June. Please, everybody check your notifications. Also, um, make sure you get notifications for me because I don't do the text alert anymore. It just got a little pricey. So until I get something else set up, you know, it, check your notifications to see if it's on because a lot got turned off. I honestly, if you get messages from me saying invite that I'm inviting you to Crafty Servings, it is me doing it because so many were turned off. I see them in when you do emojis, when you do after the after the video or whatever or a picture when you do emojis there's a lot of them that I have to invite back so all right first of all that would just be cute right but we're gonna do more we're gonna do more it's got to be dry though it's got to be dry. we've got to be dry here yeah, a little extra grunge in some places we're gonna dry up because we need to dry for this next or most of it dry All right, should I give you a hint? So I can tell you that the topper is going to be a handle I had out yesterday, a different handle than what I used on the pumpkin I did yesterday. This is going to be the topper. We are going to use chain. You can get it. This actually is a good amount. Um, 90 inches so but i don't think 90 inches will cover this this is from walmart i think it was like three dollars something for one of these so it's actually pretty much chain we're gonna start at the bottom i'm gonna put get my glue out here that topper is gonna be awesome right janice all right i'm just gonna put a little dab of glue here and start with that chain right there so i got my little dabber here and that's got to be dry so i'm gonna just sit here and talk to you a second while while it dries up all right before we wrap it and i think i'm gonna need both of these And all the grooves, you see the grooves? We're gonna just, okay, so we want to make it even. So we're gonna wrap it. Cute. Wrap it. See if I can get it all the way around. Oh, it's just. 
just about around, but I think I'll finish it off there. Look at, isn't that gonna be cute? Cute, cute. It almost looks like a musk melon. <laughs> it's a pumpkin. All right, I'm gonna put a little dab of glue because you're not gonna really see that. I think I can continue right off on here. Hello, Lene. Aw, hello. How are you doing? Lin Lene with number three designs company. Number three designs company, right? Or company designs. Oh, I told you about terrible. Lene, I love her too. Lene, make sure you put your link. All right, I don't want to break the chain. All right, thank you for turning on notifications. All right, it's just how with twist ties. And you don't have to put glue all the way around. It'll be fine because you're getting it right in the grooves as long as you're wrapping it tight enough. Just make sure this is adhered. Oh, I love you too, Lene. Well, hello. You know, you're probably getting ready for bed for because you will work tomorrow too. Yeah, Lene, though, make sure you drop your page. This is like perfect size, the two of these together. Look at how cute is that? How cute is that? So I need to... <laughs> Recipe for the grunge. One cup of hot water. A half a cup of instant coffee granules, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of um, cinnamon. Put it all in a jar and shake it up and keep it in the fridge. Shake it up every time before you use it. Okay, I got more to use if I want. Make sure it looks okay that way. Oh, this is just, it's a cute looking muscular, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, this is in the jewelry making at Walmart. You can get it at any craft store, any craft store, but Walmart has it too. This is actually a great price. Um, it's 90 inches for, it was $3 and something for 90 inches. I did need two of them for this size pumpkin. This pumpkin I had gotten from Walmart, but you can get styrofoam pumpkins anywhere. This one just really had the nice um, curves in it, the nice indentations, which I really, really liked. Let me show you orange one they had there, and I sort of played with that a little. It didn't, um, I, I would need to do a lot more to it, you know, paint and stuff. I just started a little, but I want the color of this orange, so I wasn't sure I wanted to even try, but I experimented on here. Look at the color of this orange to it, and it sort of has like a gold tone to it. So they also have like this, and it just has that really nice indentation. So those are at Walmart also. Okay. Now, if the bottom really bothers you, you can put, you know, maybe put a little piece of, you could take a little piece of doily also and put at the bottom, just a little one, but you wouldn't see much of it. Um, this is gonna go like this. This is gonna go on like this. Our drawer pull that I got at 
um, Hobby Lobby. There's a lot that are on sale. This one was not just, and I loved it just so much. So I it's got a screw in it, but look at <laughs> there's a lot that were on sale though that I grabbed some that were just so cute. And we are going to try and figure out in between those wires to push that in. Okay, let's get it in. So there's a hole. It's perfect doily. My mom made it perfectly for that reason. All right, and I'm going to spread these wires a little bit apart. There we go. So that I'll be able to push this right into the pumpkin. Make sure it's centered in there. Add a little bit of glue down under there too. Thank you, Janice. I have a button too. I have a button. I wasn't sure I wanted a button on here. So I think I have the perfect button. I don't remember which follower sent me. I have multiple people that sent me buttons. Um, I don't remember which one this bag of buttons was from, but it had, it looked like sort of antique kind of buttons in. So I'm gonna make sure. I want to make sure that's not going to fall out of there. It's just so pretty. It needs its own space here now. All right, let me show you the button. So I do like the idea also. I love it. I love it. I do also like the idea of my um made with love home um home handmade with love i do like the idea of maybe putting a little one just down here and it's just that similar color i love that idea and i may still do that now this is a little bit larger one but i think a larger one would just that takes away from it steampunk vintage vibes i love that i never heard that i love that how can i use that jennifer how can I advertise that? I make steam, what was it? Steampunk vintage vibe. So I, I mean, I love these little, that's too big though. That's too big. So this is the handmade with love. I thought if we just put a little one down here, that would be cute. I have one other one here though that I grabbed that sort of looks like vintage to me. And I wonder, I could grunge it up too. Look at this one. That was in one of the bags somebody sent me. And it it reminds me of the doily. And if I put that like down here, I, I don't want it right up on, on a front, but if it would be like on the side like that, do you like this button? I think I, I, I think I should grunge it a little though. Let's do that. Just a little bit. Just a little, just a little. I'm going to use that dauber that is so full of grunge here. Just going to grunge it a little. Oh gosh. doesn't stay on very well but it's got some on let's just see if we can't okay just added that little bit of grunge in there I don't know if you can really tell let me see if I can use a brush Thank 
thank you, Denise. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think this little this little button. I just want that little bit extra grunge on it. But it reminds me of the doily. That's why when I saw it, and I like I said, I'm not sure which bag I got it in from one of the followers because I've got multiple and I just appreciate them all. Okay, that's gonna be cute. That's gonna be cute. Now I could push this right in, but I think I'm going to cut that off because if I make a mistake and push it in where I don't want it, then it's going to leave a hole and I don't want a hole in it. So we're going to cut that bottom part off. <laughs> we're going to cut that bottom part off. Let's go for the big boy. Um, I have a bigger one here that I thought I had out. Let's go for the big boy. There we go. That was so much easier. Thank you, Cheryl. Good night. All right, so I do just really love it right on the side there like that. So we're going to do that. Let's see where he's going to stand good. Thank you for all the hearts. Please, please pass me on. I appreciate it. We're going to do a random act of kindness drawing in just a minute. All right, let's see. We're going to put it right here. All right, that little bit is pushing in, though. We need that button, right? Hello, Paula. Paula was the winner of the mystery hostess party. I think everybody should change their name to Paula, right? I've had out of, I think probably, I'm not sure how many winners I've had so far since I've had the party. So probably eight, nine, ten, something like that. She's my third Paula. Everybody should change the name to Paula. And better luck. Susie, thank you so much for the stars. All right. I love this button on here too. Um, let's see. Here we go. Isn't, didn't that just turn out really good? It does look like a muskmelon though, doesn't it? But it's a pumpkin. It, it's just, it's, it's steampunk. What did Jennifer say? Steampunk vintage vibes. Whatever that is, that's what it is. I'm going with that. So, all right. So y'all like it? All right. Should we do random act of kindness drawing? I always need my buttons, Janice. You know that. You know that. It just and this one just sort of blends right in. And like I said, it looks almost like part of a doily. Look at it. it looks like the doily. It's the perfect button. So, all right, let's do random act of kindness drawing. All right, right here. We have Janice Cretella Gus Gaspari. I actually see three comments in a row from you right here. So um, private message me your mailing address. I know I've sent you something a long time ago. Private message me your mailing address. Please do a random act of kindness for someone, Janice. Um, you we're going to do one more random act. Just because I love how this turned out. I'm so excited. We're going to do one more. All right. You won't go back as far. Artist Stone, private message me your mailing address. Please do a random act of kindness for someone also. So thank you for coming on with me. I haven't been on for a night for a while, so I'm excited to have come on. Um, I hope you love it as much as I do. 
Um, I think it's different, right? It's I haven't seen one like this. I think it just turned out really different and, and beautiful and I'm in love with it. I hope you are too. So please pass me on if you like it. I am going to do a Pinterest post. Um, I mentioned that at the beginning. Please, please go out on my Pinterest page, Crafty Servings, and save my idea pins to a board or two of yours if you like them. So there's some out there. You know, Go ahead and do that. This one will get out there in the next week or so too. So thank you everybody for coming on. I appreciate it all and I'll talk to you soon.